Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Sanctuary. So, Sanctuary is about when SpongeBob and Gary go out on their nice walk until they see a bunch of these baby snails all alone, just out there in the streets with no one taking care of them. So, SpongeBob, who has a nice sweetheart, decides to take in those baby snails into his home. However, more of these snails just keep showing up into Spongebob's pineapple that's mainly due to Patrick who is very jealous of Spongebob giving the snails more attention than Patrick. So then when Spongebob has a bunch of snails to take care for, it all of a sudden turns him into a different person. Not just a different person, but a full-time snail caretaker. And him being a caretaker affects him from going to work. And there's slime all over the neighborhood. So, of course, Squidward, who gets frustrated, tries to find a way to turn SpongeBob back to normal and try to get all of those snails out of there. So, Sanctuary... I thought sounded pretty interesting just by looking at the plot synopsis of the movie. I wanted to see how the writers were going to handle this episode and I gotta say Sanctuary was really impressive. I really did think this was handled very well. To see Spongebob turn into a creepy snail caretaker, yeah that's one thing. Spongebob he is freaking creepy. I also did think it was cool of the writers to handle a concept like this along with adding some really funny parts to the episode and just making the episode very fun to watch. It had a very well crafted storyline. Squidward was very funny in this episode too. I actually did really like Squidward. And then of course the scene when Spongebob is like counting all the snails in which according to Spongebob he has a total of 258 snails he's taking care of like wow no wonder spongebob turned into some weird creepy snail taker but what actually really impressed me about this episode actually is that it wasn't another a pal for gary and i know even some of my subscribers out there told me pet sitter pat in which i actually thought pet sitter pat was a great episode but i know some of my subscribers out there were not a fan of that episode because of gary getting constantly abused in that episode so it was cool to see sanctuary not turn into another Gary abused episode you know it was Spongebob caring for Gary but 257 other snails which makes a total of 258 snails I thought the ending to Sanctuary I'm not gonna lie I thought it was playing perfect you can introduce this character Bob Barnacle who is voiced by guest star Bob Barker. If you guys don't know who Bob Barker is, he was actually the host for The Price is Right. He's actually the business owner of the Snail Center and that's where his character comes in just at the very end of the episode because he's the one that takes all of the snails from Spongebob at the end and then that's when Bob Barnacle tells Spongebob he can, give, he can visit the Snail Center whenever Spongebob wants to but Spongebob did say he was a one snail kind of guy which is of course Gary and after Bob Barnacle told Spongebob all those things that's when Spongebob is actually back to Spongebob. Not to mention Patrick who disguises as a snail the funniest part of the episode in my opinion. He goes away with all the other snails and Spongebob's all like wait Patrick I'm going to ad adopt you. Yeah speaking of Patrick that's what he gets for bringing in all the snails to Spongebob. I don't have too many flaws with this episode just a couple and one of them is actually Patrick just bringing in all these snails to Spongebob, you know, working poor Spongebob, just because Patrick is jealous, Spongebob is giving them more attention. 
than Patrick himself. So I didn't really appreciate that. Although the flaw was kind of made up when Patrick decides to be a snail and he goes in with SpongeBob who literally won't let Patrick leave his sight. <laughs> like that scene when SpongeBob just drags Patrick inside and Patrick's all like, help, meow, help. I was just cracking up at that part. But yeah, Patrick just grabbing all those snails just to work SpongeBob more hard, you know, on purpose. I didn't really appreciate that. And I didn't see the point of SpongeBob dressing up weird. Like, I was actually fine with SpongeBob being weird in this episode. You know, the way his eyes are just like this the whole time. Like, come into the house, Snails. I'll take care of you forever. Oh gosh, even I'm creeping myself out. But the way he dressed, I didn't see the point of him dressing like, okay, taking care of 258 snails cannot change you that much. So I couldn't really buy into that, but I still dug the weirdness and SpongeBob. Maybe it was a little too weird, but you know, I dug it. So overall guys, I actually thought Sanctuary was a very creative episode. I liked the concept. It was simple and straight to the point. As well as also having a surprisingly heartwarming ending, which I really loved. So I'm going to give Sanctuary an 8 out of 10. P.S. Squidward being that swelled up ball in this episode, yeah, that was weird too. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Sanctuary. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Meow.